This is the uh, this is the onion omega. Um, it's uh, wait a minute. Just let's guess, everybody. Is it a Tor router in a wristwatch? Is it onion omega? Is it onion onion? What's the onion? Is that a, it's got to be a Tor something? No, it's not. Oh, it could be though. So there's there's potential there. It's actually a small little uh, Linux computer on a chip. What similar to. Raspberry Pi. You want to open it? So that? it's like the Windows. We'll do an unboxing. It's like the Windows 10 Raspberry Pi. Do you have my over the shoulder or no? Yes, you do. It's like a, because that's a big thing, by the way, Adafruit now is the Windows 10. Yeah, Windows which I don't like at all, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad Adafruit did. Yeah, there's Linux no reason to do Windows 10, but let's not get on that one. Yeah. Um, I like the puzzle piece. Yeah, isn't that cool? This is a very nice box. Um, this was a Kickstarter project, and what's cool about it is it uses uh, OpenWRT, as the operating system. So, so that's the, the uh, router operating system. Yes, exactly. So it's very small. It's for embedded. It comes with this thing you're taking out now is the extension board, okay. which allows you to add add-on modules or hook up those pins as GPIO pins. Okay. This is the core unit here. This is the actual product. Look how small and cute wow. that is. So is that a processor? There? That's a processor, exactly. And that this is what actually runs Linux. Now, by itself, just like that, you can't really hook it up or do anything with it. But it comes with a mini extension board, which is the other box. Okay. And so when you put those two together and turn it on, uh, what it does is it automatically... Uh, sets up its own AP, so you can connect to it. It has Wi-Fi built in, by the way. So there's the USB port. There's the USB. There's a Wi-Fi the chip USB on there. There's the micro USB for power. Yep, yep. Where do I uh, dock it? So just line it up, line oh, up the I shapes. It's got, it's got pins on it's this side. It's got pins on that side. Just line it up. And does it matter it. which way I go? It does. Yeah, but you got to match yeah, up the shapes. Of course it does. Match up the shapes. Match up the shapes? Yeah, one of them has... You had uh, it the other the cut way. Corner. Other way. Oh, there, there it is. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like an SD card holder. Or something, I'd be. You know? I would not be good at this. Oh, sure you would. This is easy. Right. And do I have to push it harder, or is that? Yep. Is push that... it till it goes all the way in. Okay. It's a little little hard to put together there. Yeah. But the great thing about this is they're developing some really cool add-on modules for it. It's very small. It's really built for wow. IoT. It's built for the Internet of Things. You could hide that inside of something and be monitoring sensors or uh, running some sort of little locate me program. There's all sorts of things you can do with it. Um, and, and it's running, it's running Linux. A, a mini Linux. I mean, we're, we, it's a it's a scaled down version of Linux. And like, this is the memory chip here, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So how much memory does it? Oh, have? that's a good question. See, I knew you were going to ask. I me. wish I had a magnifying glass. I could probably tell you. Yeah, it's and not then the, much. And then this daughter I think it's, board. I want to say it's like 16 meg. Look at oh, that. there's the specs there. 64 uh, meg. I was close. It's, it's so okay. 16 meg of flash, 64 meg. And of Frankly, RAM. this is also what your router looks like. Exactly. If you took the box. Out. If you took everything out of your router. Yeah. Um, you absolutely could. <laughs> <laughs> and then, okay, so if I want to put this daughter board on, I do the same. Yeah, you uh, would actually take up. it off. Yeah, you would take it off of the, uh, you oh, have to take I, the mini oh, one off I see. Okay. and put that one on. All right. Um, and then you get GPIO. Which and then you, you get GPIO, exactly. These pin connectors. And, and there's things. also the add-on boards, which plug into that those pin slots there as well, the purple pins. Um, so you can do an Ethernet add-on board or you can do a Bluetooth add-on board. Is, this all comes with the kit. It all comes with and the kit. And how much? Uh, good question again. I think Can it was you bring 35. That page up? That's not bad. You still it's have it? Raspberry Pi like. Raspberry Pi like, but small. The integrated Wi Fi is a huge plus for people because uh, Raspberry Pi does not come with integrated right. Wi Fi. You have to get a so module. So to have the Wi Fi built in, there it is 2250. What? 2250. What? Really simple to get started. It's not as cheap as the chip, right? Which is starting to ship any day now. I can't wait for that to come. I, I have I've uh, kickstarted the chip. Yep. Yeah, I, I did too. That. that was this what nine dollars. Nine dollars. Yeah, which everyone says that's impossible, but uh, we'll you see. You know what's amazing is the, the uh, incredible price performance curve yeah. in microelectronics as yeah. things get micro miniaturized. The cost goes down while the power goes up. Mm -hmm. It's just crazy. It is crazy, and yep. it's it's what's powering our whole world, including this Internet of Things, the ability to take what is functionally a full computer, including wireless internet access, yep. into something this size for 22 bucks, you could put this in anything, you know, uh, and make it uh, internet capable. Yep. And and kudos to the developers. They've done a great job with the setup. Now, they're having some trouble getting the documentation because they've been so busy shipping these things yeah. out. But I did find some documentation, was able to get it set up in about five minutes. Like I said, it uh, comes, it starts the access point. When you connect to the access point, you go to a web page and type in your your um, uh, your local SSID and password for your for your local wireless, 
And then it goes out, it updates the system, reboots, and you're ready wow. to go. They're working on some other things like this, the uh, Onion console, which will be a desktop-like <laughs> environment for <laughs> you to, to wow. make it a little bit easier to use. And they've also got a cloud app with APIs already set up um, so that you can you know, connect, the, connect multiples of these things and have them up in the cloud and just run your API calls against them yeah. so you don't have to actually connect to it directly at all. Um, You'd be crazy uh, not to become a maker in this day and age. Absolutely. The tools are so easy, so integrated, and the potential is so huge. I want to see your Halloween projects. All right. Let's do I'll some Halloween projects, everybody, yeah. and send them along to us. Send a picture And uh, or we'll show them and, and talk about them. I'm not going to pull this apart. I'm afraid of breaking it. So. It does come apart kind of hard. So. Yeah, I'll let yeah. you. Uh, well, if I had a, a screwdriver or something, I could do Yeah. That. Um, very cool. That's the Onion Omega. And what was the URL for that, Brian, that you found that on? Uh, Onion.io. Oh, Onion.io. Onion.io. That's, that's, right that's, that's That is the best web address Onion. ever. Mm -hmm. Onion.io. 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 Onion.io.